Fifth-generation fighter aircraft are not simply combat platforms. They represent some of the most intricate industrial products ever produced. They integrate cutting-edge aerodynamics, stealth-oriented shaping, composite materials, propulsion systems, sensor integration, and software-enabled combat management within a unified airframe. Consequently, the manufacturing process of these aircraft is equally as significant as their flight performance. A comparison between the F-35 Lightning II of the United States and Russia's Su-57 highlights two inherently distinct industrial philosophies influenced by economic considerations, supply chain structures, technological ecosystems, and strategic objectives. Although both aircraft are designed to conform to fifth-generation standards, the approaches employed in their manufacturing processes differ significantly. The F-35 program is centered on large-scale manufacturing at an unparalleled level for a stealth fighter. From the beginning, it was conceived as a multinational initiative providing support to aviation forces across various continents. This objective significantly shaped its manufacturing architecture. The aircraft is manufactured via a meticulously organized industrial network. Major components such as fuselage sections, wings, and avionics modules are produced at various manufacturing facilities and subsequently transported to the final assembly lines. The primary manufacturing center is situated in the United States, complemented by supplementary final assembly and inspection facilities overseas. The distinguishing feature of F-35 production is its dynamic assembly line, Aircraft advance through successive stations in which designated duties are performed, akin to the manufacturing process of commercial airliners. Multiple aircraft are concurrently in various phases of assembly, enabling a high rate of annual production. Although the complete manufacturing process for a single aircraft spans several months, the infrastructure guarantees uninterrupted delivery. This method facilitates production rates surpassing 100 aircraft annually, a feat previously considered unprecedented for fifth-generation fighters. The Su-57 adopts a more conventional and centralized manufacturing approach. The aircraft is predominantly assembled at a single, significant aviation manufacturing facility in Russia. Although components are procured from multiple domestic suppliers, the final assembly is consolidated at a single site. Production volumes are markedly lower in comparison to those of the F-35. The Su-57 program progressed gradually from prototype development to limited serial production, owing to budgetary limitations, evolving requirements, and technological difficulties. Instead of mass production, the focus has been on incremental refinement and regulated output. The manufacturing process is predominantly station-oriented rather than conveyor-based, with aircraft remaining at each assembly stage for extended durations. This leads to reduced throughput but provides increased flexibility for modifications and revisions during initial production runs. One of the most notable aspects of F-35 production is its international supply network. Numerous suppliers provide components, subassemblies, and materials. This system depends on extensive standardization, enabling components manufactured in various countries to integrate smoothly during final assembly. Extensive portions of the aircraft are assembled as entire modules, these modules are delivered to the final assembly line with wiring, piping, and subsystems pre-installed. This modular design decreases assembly duration, enhances uniformity, and streamlines quality assurance processes. Automation assumes a pivotal function. Robotic systems perform precise drilling, fastening, and composite lamination operations. Digital manufacturing tools guarantee precise tolerances and comprehensive traceability throughout the entire production process.
Conversely, the Su-57 predominantly depends on domestic suppliers. This minimizes reliance on foreign dependencies while concurrently restricting access to specific advanced manufacturing technologies and materials. The degree of modularity is less extensive than that observed in the F-35 program. Numerous systems are incorporated at later stages of the assembly process, resulting in increased labor requirements and extended assembly durations. Although automation is employed in certain sectors, a larger share of the work continues to be performed manually, especially during the final integration phase. Sanctions and technological isolation have further entrenched this domestically-centered production model, compelling the industry to develop indigenous alternatives instead of depending on international suppliers. The F-35 airframe primarily consists of composite materials, which are crucial for both stealth capabilities and structural integrity. Large composite panels are manufactured utilizing automated fiber placement machinery that deposits carbon fiber with exceptional accuracy. Metal components, where necessary, are produced utilizing sophisticated machining methods to minimize weight while preserving structural integrity. Precise tolerances are essential, as even slight deviations can impact stealth effectiveness. The aircraft's design prioritizes consistency, guaranteeing that each airframe is virtually identical to the next, an essential criterion for comprehensive fleet maintenance and upgrades. The Su-57 employs a hybrid construction methodology integrating composite materials with conventional metal alloys. Although composite material utilization is considerable, it remains comparatively less prevalent than in the F-35. This approach reflects both design philosophy and industrial capability. The Su-57 prioritizes aerodynamic efficiency and agility, which influence structural design decisions and manufacturing processes. The result is a robust airframe that emphasizes performance characteristics, even at the expense of certain manufacturing standardizations. Stealth encompasses not only the aircraft's shape, but also its surface treatment. The F-35 employs advanced radar-absorbing materials applied during final manufacturing stages under tightly controlled conditions. Over time, these processes have been refined to improve durability and reduce maintenance complexity. This reflects an emphasis on long-term operational sustainability across a large fleet. The Su-57 also incorporates radar-absorbing materials, but its approach to stealth is more selective. The design prioritizes frontal stealth while accepting higher radar signatures from other aspects. This reduces certain manufacturing and maintenance burdens, but limits overall stealth effectiveness compared to the F-35. The F-35 employs a standardized engine architecture across all variants. This simplifies production, logistics, and maintenance. Engines are installed late in assembly and integrated with digital monitoring systems. Standardized interfaces enable rapid installation and replacement, supporting high sortie rates and efficient sustainment. The Su-57 has progressed through multiple engine configurations. Early aircraft relied on interim engines with more advanced power plants planned for later production. This evolutionary strategy complicates manufacturing, but allows operational deployment while engine development continues. The F-35 is fundamentally a software-centric weapons system. Manufacturing includes extensive validation of millions of lines of code. Digital twins and automated diagnostics are employed before first flight. Software updates continue after delivery, making production a continuous life cycle process.
the SU57 places greater emphasis on hardware-centric integration. Software plays a supporting role rather than serving as the core defining element. This simplifies certain production aspects, but limits advanced sensor fusion and network-centric capabilities. Each F35 undergoes standardized quality assurance, regardless of assembly location. Automated inspections and digital records ensure fleet-wide consistency. The Su-57 is subjected to rigorous testing tailored to individual aircraft configurations. This approach suits low-volume production but does not scale efficiently. The manufacturing methods of the F-35 and Su-57 reflect two fundamentally different industrial paradigms. The F-35 emphasizes scalability, repeatability, and long-term fleet sustainability through global integration and software-centric design. The Su-57 reflects a centralized, incremental, and performance-driven philosophy. It prioritizes domestic control, flexibility, and refinement over mass output. Both approaches produce capable fifth-generation fighters, yet they illustrate how industrial capacity, economic structure, and strategic intent shape not only aircraft performance, but the very manner in which these machines are built. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.